Hello. My book answers a simple question. How did I get here? The I in this case is an officer serving in the remains of a once formidable army. Up until recently, his battalion spread terror and death through the lands of the East, but things have changed. Now his end is very close. The here is the ground on which he will make his last stand. And his circumstances are certainly not ones I'd wish on myself, on you, or on anyone else. Surrounded by an enemy that has no use for prisoners. Abandoned by high command. Fight to the last man. The nation has you in its heart, he is told. So the officer understands and accepts that soon he and his men will be dead. And the most he can do is choose the way he meets his end with courage or without. The enemy takes a break. There is no hurry on their parts. Their prey has nowhere to go. And so there is a pause in the slaughter. An uneasy quiet falls across this ground. And the non-action gives the officer space in which to think. And he asks himself, how did I get here? The proximity of death, the certainty of his fate, frees him from self-censorship when he searches for an answer to this question. And what he finds, he writes down in a journal, which is addressed to someone he will never see again, someone who will never read his words. And so, with an objective honesty, the officer gives us an insider's view of the gentle descent from aimless young man to master of butchery. Now I am here is his story. Um, it is also a product of a storyteller's mind. There are bits and pieces that we can pluck out of the air, sounds, things we read, etc., etc., and they form a pattern, and sometimes those patterns seem to form a story. And in my case, I noticed a growing tolerance of intolerance. And that triggered a whole bunch of memories in my head. Uh, they came together. There were all these thought processes, as usual. And suddenly, in 2018-19, this sentence appeared, a sentence with an image. And that was followed by an investigation into who wrote these words, why are they there? What is this place? And a world slowly began to build. And that world is the world of now I am here. In terms of who this officer is, in the initial iteration of this story, he came from a land, a land that exists, and had fought in a war that had existed. But uh, I soon found out two things, or I f soon realized two things. One, I have avoided military service at all costs, uh, personal reasons, not political. And two, the idea of giving him a specific nationality scared me because I just thought in today's world, you would just get a lot of hassle. How dare you this? How dare you that? And so I removed his nationality and began to focus on his actions and his thoughts and very quickly realized these apply to all of us. We can all be angry, we can all be happy, we can all be this and that. And so he became every man. He's a man, but he is all of us. Um, as for the style, I thought, okay, since he is meant to appeal to all people, he should also not be locked into a specific time. And so the way I have constructed this novel the language sounds a bit old, it sounds uh, timeless, hopefully. Uh, the aim is that people are still reading this book long, long, long after I've gone. Uh, we will see, well, I won't see about that, the others will see. And um, to try and allow people to fill in all the gaps. And so there are a lot of things that happen. There are no faces, for example, there's no skin, there's no particular hair. But there are all these actions, and the idea is that you fill those in. So, um, yeah, on that note, of course, talking <laughs> to a camera is a very strange thing. There is no audience here. Uh, I hope I've explained a bit about Now I Am Here. I hope you listen to this and think, ah, oh, yeah, this is a book worth reading. Uh, in fact, you better read it. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is that.